Hello, it is Monday the 26th of April. We are on vlog number 30, potentially, or 29. I don't know. Either way, I can't believe we've made it this far already. This is mental. Um, but yeah, it's the last week in April. To finish my actual planned TBR, like it's not gonna happen because it's all of this. That physically cannot happen. Seeing as I'm also doing 20 books in, uh, 30 reads in 30 days. So I now have read 25 books. So I need to read five more books, which, right, let's set out my plans for the week. Plans for the week. I'm starting my buddy read of The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. I'm reading this with Christina and it's going to push us into April. So this one will not be finished this month, but I need to start it today. I need to start and finish More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera because this is a book I've chosen for a reading prompt. I was cut off by a random alarm, I'm sorry. This is a book I chose for a reading prompt of to read a um, diverse book and this is for the LGBTQ plus rep. This is one I keep putting off and then everyone's told me it's absolutely amazing so I really do need to read it and I need to start and finish this one this week. I'm hoping to do it tonight and tomorrow to be honest. So that will put me up to 26, then I need to 27, 28, 29, 30. Ow. Hmm. Okay. So I replaced male author. I read something different. I just grabbed my trusty journal because I have no idea what I've replaced with what anymore. Oh, damn it. Okay. I have not replaced a book for male author. So I guess I'm still going to read dry. Okay. So what do I say? 25, 26, 27. We still need 28, 29, 30. I'm thinking Heartstopper Volume 1 should be a very, very quick read. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm thinking The Suitcase Kid by Jacqueline Wilson. Very short, uh, 154 pages. And Terrible Tudors, uh, The Horrible Histories book is the next book in this series I need to read. Should be really interesting and should be very quick also. So my reading plans for the next five days are all of this. Oh my God, I'm scared. Okay, so it's only like 10 o'clock. And I tweeted, like I was joining in on um, some other people's uh, tweets about the Harper 360 YA um, arc list. And I said, you know, I wasn't expecting any because um, like I hadn't received one. I wasn't expecting any. It's the first time I've requested some. So really wasn't expecting anything. And um, I have a book. Whew, it says, I can't, this package contains books. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is so, so exciting. And I have had an email from Tandem to say I will be on another one of their book tours soon. I don't know which book, but one of them. So what is this? Ooh. I won't lie, I don't remember the choices. This is Don't Breathe a Word by Jordan Taylor. I free it's oh it's floppy. So this says, the first rule of being a five is you don't talk about the fives. The second rule of being a five is to maintain your place as one of the most elite students in your class. And the most important rule though, is to always protect Hardwick prep, 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 I can't say it. That word, <laughs> I can't say it. Prep, prep, preparatory, prep, prep, it's not happening. Academy secrets. Perfect for fans of books like Truly Devious, uh, Don't Breathe a Word follows two girls separated by 60 years but whose stories are inextricably intertwined by their connection to a secret society that has run their elite boarding school for decades and kept one deadly secret. So this comes out on the 25th of, 21st of May. Um, so I guess I need to whack this into my May TBR right now. Um, I don't know what they want from you in return for this arc talking about it on a platform I guess um I, I really don't know I'm gonna have to go back and look into it but yeah it's coming out relatively soon guess I need to read it um back with a very very quick update which is this massive parcel I ordered last night it's already here um I think it was like delivery before 1am the next day and I was doing this at like 10 o'clock last night 1am 1pm I know what I mean um, let me just break into this. This is not bookish at all. Like, I really don't need to show you. I'm just impressed with the deal. It is 18 cans of Mango Rubicon. 
for £6 and I'm really impressed with this. Okay, so I just took um, most of my lunch break to film the Spaceman tag created by Rachel. Um, it was so much fun. And as I was doing that, a parcel from Bookswap arrived. Again, meaning it's Hermes. Again, meaning the parcel stinks of cigarettes. And nobody at Hermes would like to talk to me about that. So I don't know what I do. I still really, I've got two more books on the way from um, Bookswap. But it's just really making me not want to use the service. Um, because I know my local driver which is not fair. Like this is gonna have to go straight in the bins outside. It's, it's that bad. I can smell it in my hands already and I've touched it for like 10 seconds. But I'm really excited about this one. This is Death Note volume one. Um, I actually, as soon as I ordered this, I got a message from the person who was selling it, asking me if I was on booktube because they recognized me and I said, yep. So here it is, here is your work on my booktube. So I know not that much about Death Note. I know that this contains volumes one and two. I have never read an actual manga where I have to go backwards. So this is gonna be interesting just because I've never done it. Um, I have watched the movie for Death Note, the live action movie um, and really enjoyed it. I wanna get into more manga. So this is happening. I'm changing. Hello, it is seven o'clock on Monday. Um, I'm gonna keep this really short. I tried to film this and started crying. It's fine, everything is fine. But I was editing my vlog for last week to go up tomorrow and I'm really not happy with the content. I just sound like a miserable old cow and I'm complaining a lot and something happened last week. I just lost all my mojo and I just wasn't with it. But I hope I can sort that out this week after this moment. The reason I look slightly upset is Bruce doesn't look fantastic and I'm gonna not get upset when I try and explain it again because I've had to delete one clip already. Uh, he is fine. Um, he's over, he's about two and a half now. So like he's doing really good. I can hear him eating in bed right now, but he has just seemed to have lost quite a lot of his energy. He looks a little bit frail and I got him out, uh, got a couple hours ago now to give him a cuddle and he got a bit confused, I think. He wasn't quite awake, his eyes weren't quite open and he bit me and I, like, he doesn't bite. So I just got a bit like, oh my God, he's going crazy. Um, I'm just getting quite upset with the fact that I've got to understand that hamsters don't stick around for 15 years. Um, it is a two to three years thing and he's two and a half right now, so he's doing good. I just love him so much, he's my little Bruce. Oh my God, what happened to no crying? Stop it, Chloe. I've just started reading The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers, which is my buddy read with Christina, and I'm on page eight. I know that's not enough to give an opinion. Um, I've got to try and get to page 50, 51. So I'm gonna sit and watch Rachel's sprints from last week and try and do that. I'm not majorly enthused about it right now. I don't know whether that's my general mood or the book um, or just the subject of the book. So I don't know enough about the book yet, but I don't typically read sci-fi. So it's going to have to do a lot to hook me, I think. I'm going to try my absolute best. But yeah, I think it's just going to be that tonight. And then um, I'm having an anime date with Cole where we watch the latest episode in the anime we're watching. I'll put it on screen because I can't pronounce it and don't remember what it's called until I look at it. Bruce has got out of bed, so I'm gonna go give him a cuddle. Hello, it is Tuesday morning and I just wanna give you a really quick update. I don't have too much to say. After work yesterday, I did a emo, punk, rock, everyone had this phase, um, dance workout. And oh my God, I probably only did 20 minutes worth of exercise, but I can't, like to get on the floor to film this clip, my thighs like seized. It's painful, so I won't be rushing to do it again. I'm gonna try and do another one on Thursday. So I'm kind of saying it out loud to hold myself more accountable. Uh, Rachel did send me a Pitch Perfect one, which I think will be really fun, but it uh, involves me moving. And right now I walked the post box and I couldn't really get there without pain. So um, I was supposed to start The Long Way to A Small Angry Planet last night. And I didn't really, I'm on page eight, so I need to read quite a lot today. I need to get up to page 96. So I can definitely do it if I sit down and without a better word, force myself to read it. I really want to do it. Obviously I'm reading it with Christina. We've been planning it for a while. I want to, I just was not in a reading mood yesterday. Um, I have seen Bruce this morning. He looks so much better. 
um he's just must have been having an off day yesterday and he broke my little heart like he especially being here by myself it sounds stupid but bruce is my like little companion and the fact that he looked a bit poorly broke me and he looked okay this morning so he still didn't want to come out for a cuddle but he looked okay so i'm gonna stay positive he's fine stop worrying um <laughs> i did cry with relief when i saw him this morning though so also i've ha um put last week's vlog up and immediately got a comment from alice saying that my vlogs make her tuesday um so shout out to alice if you're watching this one but it gave me like such a confidence boost because i hated last week's vlog i almost didn't put it up i was really really disappointed with it so the fact that somebody is still that happy with it is um so lovely to me like i can't i can't explain to you how much it means so yeah i'm gonna try and be less emotional for the rest of this now i'll do my best busy day at work today i have my six month re six month review so that's gonna be fun but yeah she needs to chill out I need to relax and stop worrying about everything so what i do think i'm gonna do i'm gonna read the long way to a small angry planet as soon as i finish work and then I'm going to try and read one of these three options. I was tempted to put a poll up on Twitter to see what I should do, but I know everyone will go with Heartstopper. So maybe I should just read Heartstopper tonight. I've, can I, I can do the whole thing in one sitting, right? That's what people do. So yeah, I don't know. One of these three needs to be read tonight to mean that I have any chance of doing 30 reads in 30 days. Okay, so I just filmed a really random um, come book shopping with me because I was given an £80 Amazon voucher. I ended up spending closer to £100, but like, I'm not mad. It was my own stupid fault as I was going through it. Ended up paying £14 for postage that I didn't know needed paying, so it's fine. But I thought, I was just waiting for my dinner to finish. Um, it's a ready meal, like it's not taking too much work. And I picked up Heartstopper and I'm already, uh, how many pages? Like. Wait, these don't all have page numbers, that's confusing. I'm like 56 pages in and I've been reading for about two minutes. Well, I mean, that's an over-exaggeration. Um, but I'm going to read this until my dinner's ready at least. And then um, I tweeted, does anyone know of any reading sprints? Because I need some. And um, Emily said she also needs some. So I've asked her if she wants to do some, some impromptu ones. I don't really feel like Oh, she's just said, okay. Okay, I'll get back to you. Okay, so we're just sorting that out. Really exciting. Um, and I've suggested 6.30. It's 10 past five now. So I think if I eat dinner, I could probably read all of Heartstopper. And then on the sprints, I can read The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. Sorted. I'll let you know later on tonight. Okay, so I haven't even eaten my dinner yet. And I finished Heartstopper. Rating though? I absolutely loved this. It was adorable. It was everything I wanted. But I mean, it, it did take me about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Pure enjoyment though, it's five. And I just don't know what I rate graphic novels. I don't know what my opinion is of graphic novels. So shall I just give it a five? It was a five on enjoyment. Yeah, it's five star. So it's almost time for reading sprints. We have four minutes and um, yeah, it's just gonna be me to start off with. Then Emily's gonna join, but I'm getting really excited. And I cannot wait to finally dig into this. Hello, it is Wednesday and I got an Amazon parcel that I've been like tracking every step of its journey. And while I'm on a call with a client, it's nice to show up. <laughs> so me and the Amazon driver had a little bit of like mini I'm on the phone as I'm carrying my laptop around the building. Um, this is, I don't know how they've put it in such a small box because this should be quite a lot and I'm trying not to damage anything. So a lot of this is with for my come book shopping with me I did yesterday because a lot of it was on Prime. Um, this is same day, but like obviously it was later and later in the evening, but it was pretty much instant delivery. So I don't want to show you it all because then that will spoil that video, and then where would we be? But these, all of these, will feature in my wrap up, um, my wrap up, my book haul. So I'll just show you a few things. What should I show you? So in this box we have one two three four we have five books and a little extra so i'll show you the extra because it will make no sense we have a little pack of coloring pencils I'm really excited for the other half of this order which i think is turning up today as well i will also show you the one i'm most excited about which is the penguin cloth bound edition of pride and prejudice i 
genuinely cannot wait to read this again. I only just listened to the audiobook and I fell completely in love and I can't believe how much I love this book. It's actually a slight issue. So as soon as I had my voucher, I decided to get my hands on it. There's a little thing on the, heaven and earth are the shades of Pemberley to be thus polluted. I love it. I might put that in my journal though, to be honest. That will look better in my journal than it does attached to the book. But yeah, can we just, it's just gorgeous. And we have a little ribbon bookmark as well. I'm in love. And then the other book I will show because Rachel is going to lose it when I show this is all Boys Aren't Blue by George M. Johnson. She loves this book. She absolutely loves this book. And it was actually her giveaway winning books. If you won her giveaway, you got a copy of this book because she loves it so much. And I sadly didn't win. So I bought it myself and I'm so excited. So George M. Johnson shows their memories of growing up black and queer in America from getting their teeth kicked out by bullies at age five to their loving family relationships to the first sexual experience. These powerful stories wrestle with triumph and tragedy, weaving a rich tapestry of experiences, both everyday and extraordinary. Covering topics such as gender identity, toxic masculinity, brotherhood, inequality, consent and black joy, George's remarkable story is a story for us all. And it's gorgeous. I just have to read this. But yeah, let's do. Can you not? Ah, you can only see the ones I've told you about if I hold them up this way. But we have a little mini book haul and there'll probably be another one today. I did do a lot of reading tonight, but I do need to get back to work. Um, but I will update you in a couple of minutes. I didn't even need to say it, you wouldn't have noticed, but I do need to do a couple of work things and then I will let you know about last night's reading. Okay, so we've shimmied over over to over there, words to my TBR cart. And um, update of last night's reading. So I did catch up with the buddy read of The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. So I'm on page 96 right now and I need to get up to page, what is it? 144 today. I didn't dislike it, but I didn't like it. There was a lot of sci-fi stuff that I just ignored. I pretended it wasn't even there on the page, which did not make it a, as fun reading experience. But I did my absolute best to stay engaged. And I do like some of the characters and I feel like their relationships are going to be really interesting. And I have heard from other people that's a very character driven plot. So we will see. I'm carrying on. I then, did I tell you I read Heartstopper Volume 1? I think I did and gave it five stars. I did say that. Then I read Heartstopper Volume 2 and I also gave it five stars. This was the cutest thing I've ever had in my life and I just have no words. It was just so cute. But this was book number 27 of my 30 reads in 30 days. So I decided then to pick up another really short read, uh, The Suitcase Kid by Jacqueline Wilson, which is about 150 pages long. And I did actually get a bit of a headache. So we stopped the sprints sort of early, but I got up to page 29. So I'm thinking that this could be one I easily finish off tomorrow. So my plan for the day, I've got a full day of work as per usual. Um, then I need to read a, the chunk of The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. But most importantly, I need to edit my Den and Fifers vlog because that is going up tomorrow. So that is going to be what I do. The second I finish work, I'm going to be editing that vlog. It, it's going to be a long time. So yeah, I need to edit that. Um, and while that's exporting, because I feel like that might take a while and uploading, I'll read The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. Tomorrow, I'm then going to be on reading sprints on Emily's channel because she came on mine. So we're doing some even more reading sprints. And in that sprint, I will finish The Suitcase Kid, book number 28, this will be. And then I only need two more reads to finish my little challenge. So I'm thinking of making those Terrible Tudors um, by Terry Deary and Dry by Neil and Jared Schusterman. This is a longer one, but I do need to read it this month. So I just want to finish it off. That does mean I'm sort of making more happy than not redundant because this filled a prompt of um, diverse representation. So I swapped it out with Heartstopper. I do want to read Heartstopper Volume 3, but I'm just trying to like, I really enjoy them. So I don't want to rush through them because then they'll be over. But I could easily read that. I don't know. These are just so cute. I absolutely loved them. But yeah, those are my plans. And I'm going to go back to work now so that I can finish and edit my vlog. Still Wednesday, still the morning even. And we've had another delivery. Uh, but this is another book swap parcel. I am, um, I have issues with book swap. I need to calm down. But so many of you lovely people have been signing up with my link, which means that I've been getting so many free books. I have noticed actually the price very sneakily went up on book swap. 
from £3.58 for postage to £3.85 and I'm not a massive fan of that so I think I will stop using it if it goes any higher you know it's quite a lot now but this is oh my god this is perfect condition this is Mind Hunter by John Douglas and Mark Olshaker um, inside the FBI Elite Special Crime Unit I've heard so many things about this. So many true crime podcasts reference this. In Mind Hunter, the FBI special agent who was the inspiration for Jack Crawford's character in The Silence of the Lambs explains how he invented and established the practice of criminal profiling. He also discusses individual case histories, including those of Jeffrey Dahmer, Charles Manson, Ted Bundy, and the Atlanta child murders. So I am very excited. This is going to be a, a long one for me. I think I'm going to occasionally read a chapter. Uh, but to get this on book swap, I was so happy. Um, but yeah, I should get back to work again because my morning is just opening parcels. Okay, it is at least the afternoon now. That's why I have my hair differently. But before I've even got rid of the box of Amazon delivery number one, we've had Amazon delivery number two. <laughs> they really should like organize these slightly better. But I would not have minded waiting till now for all of the stuff that was supposed to come today. Makes no difference to me. Um, what am I gonna show you of this one? Okay, I'm not showing you that one because it's a complete surprise. Oh, I'm really upset with this. Why do I spend that much money on this? What a rip off. <laughs> anyway, this is what I got the coloring pencils for. I have the serial killer coloring book, the scariest serial killers coloring book, but there's only 23 pages and that's kind of, like we've got the, we've got some solid ones in here. Oh, and there is a colour test page. I like that. There we go. It's my baby Ted Bundy. <laughs> Who else have we got? Oh, Jeffrey Dahmer. Some of these I don't know about. Ed Gein. I'm have to do some research, you know. Charles Manson. Ooh, that's a good one. What have we got? Here he is. Richard Ramirez. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what I got the colouring pencils for. But I paid £6.99 for this. It is tiny. I'm really mad, but like I would have seen, if I would have clicked on it, I could tell that it was this small. So get over it, Chloe, you've made a mistake. You didn't check, did you? I won't show you the one book I got, but when I keep going on about, I finally bought myself Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Mass. So I wasn't adding this to my wish list because I didn't want this edition. And then I found out this may be the only edition. So it's gonna look ridiculous with all the white books, but fine i own it now and then i got myself i'll just show you this you have no idea what this is uh, but yeah oh, i'm so mad about that coloring book but it's my own fault hello it is 20 past seven i am i have an hour of edited footage for the den of vipers vlog so far and my laptop laptop wow i'm malfunctioning too started going really really slow and it's a really good laptop and i'm like okay it's struggling with an hour so I'm exporting the hour. I'm going to edit the stuff after that and then merge them. While I'm waiting for all this, India's doing sprints. And while I should be reading The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, I actually just want to start off and read Heartstopper Volume 3. Even though I said I was going to spread these out because I love them so much and I want it to last longer, I'm just going to read it because it's making me happy. Hello, it is Thursday morning and I'm getting so excited for the weekend. I feel like I really need it this week and it is another bank holiday weekend. So an extra day and I am so excited. I need it so much. I'm constantly shattered. Anyway, reading from last night was a bit of a mixed bag. Um, I wanted to get my Den of Vipers vlog up today and it came out at an hour and 20 minutes, which took about four hours to edit with a break. So in my break, I read the whole of Heartstopper Volume 3, which I absolutely loved. This was definitely the best one so far. It was amazing. Maybe it was the best one just because it's way longer, so it it had more. Um, but yeah, it made me so happy on the inside. So I read this. I gave it five stars. I had a good time. What I also did throughout the day was I'd started Terrible Tudors. I mean, I've only got up to page 20 because I annotate them um, for Britney's kids. So, you know, I've, I've still got some to go, but I'm going to be doing that throughout the day when I get a second and probably as soon as I finish work. I am going to be on Emily's sprints tonight, so this will be on my list of things to do if I haven't done that yet. 
Um, but I did also read my buddy read section of The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. And I am loving the character relationships, but I do not care about the sci-fi. I know it's a sci-fi book, so it's silly to say, but I just do not care. I really don't. And all the different, like, rules between different species getting together and stuff. Like, I've forgotten who is what species anymore, but I am loving the relationships between the characters. So I'm struggling, but I will definitely carry on. Uh, so yeah, to-do list today is another section of this and all of Terrible Tudors at a minimum. Um, I would also really like to read the whole of The Suitcase Kid. And then I will have finished 30 books in 30 days if I do that today. Oh my God. Um, I have not even started dry. It's going to be a carryover to next month, but next month's TBR is a mess already. So but I do need to read that one. And I really wanted to do some journaling yesterday, but I it just didn't happen. What did I end up with? Oh, I just ended up with that thing from the book tapes in. That, that's literally it. So I need to do some journaling because I've been trying to do a little bit every day. I am going to run into town at some point as well. I need to get um, some glue sticks for my journaling because I've ran out of glue and sellotape is driving me insane. Um, so yeah, I need to go and get some glue and I need to get a birthday card for my dad because it's his birthday on Sunday. Um, but yeah, that is as exciting as my life gets. I'm waiting on some work to do. So I guess while I wait, it's time to find out more about the Tudors. Hello, it is around one o'clock on Thursday. I popped into lunch as a lunch break. Into lunch? I popped into town as a lunch break. Wow, I'm not really here, am I? All I needed was a birthday card for my dad, but I went and got a couple of little bits, including Poundland coming through on the washi tapes. So I got all of these for two pound. Ignore my nails, they're disgusting. But how awesome's that? Anyway, I've come back to a book swap parcel. Um, first, can we appreciate how gorgeous this packaging is? I will be keeping this and reusing it. But this is, oh, it's wedged. <gasps> Sheets. It's a graphic novel about um, a girl who works, or a girl whose parents um, own a laundrette, I'm pretty sure. And even like the end pages are adorable. Like who could make washing stuff look adorable? I don't know, I think it's really cool. And the art style is really cool. I don't really do graphic novels. I've been trying to get more into them. And this is a steal from Bookswap. I've just had some such lovely feedback on my Den of Vipers vlog. It's made me so happy. It's made all the editing yesterday worth it. Um, Alice said, this is seriously one of the most entertaining videos I've ever watched. I could not stop laughing. This is such good entertainment. I highly recommend you check it out. I love that. That's made me so happy. And then if I go on to the actual comments of the video, Rachel said, I have no care to read this, but I want to see your reactions. Not going to lie, have you on times two speeds? It's only just over half hour. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. And then Rosie, oh my God, these are such nice comments. Rosie, if I'm related to you, I'll work with you, please stop. Oh my God, this is going to be good. Alice's comment is great. Oh, she did watch till the end as well. This is amazing. Oh my God, Chloe, this has brought such a smile to my face. Some of my favourite moments include you laughing at penis about five minutes in, casually reading smart, smart or eating a sandwich. <laughs> oh my God, I laughed out loud at so many points. This was incredible. That's really made me so happy. And then out of the blue, Kayla has tweeted, I'm howling at Chloe's vlog. I'm sorry you can't put a penis in that situation. That's gold. <laughs> People's reactions are making my day. Hello, still the same day. Um, I just got some more stuff from Amazon and I'm really, really disappointed because now I know how some people's gifts aren't getting to me. Is Amazon said a uh, parcel was left in mail room. We don't have a mail room. So they were just left by a door that can be opened by anybody walking past. Um, and that's why things get stolen. So pretty please, if you have ever, ever sent me anything and I've not thanked you for it, assume I haven't had it, please. Because I would hate people to think I'm rude when actually things are just sent randomly. Like I think that there's two things that have gone missing from my wish list and never arrived. Um, so yeah, if you have ever, ever sent me anything, please don't assume I'm rude and haven't responded to you. I'm so grateful when anything arrives. It has more than likely been stolen and you are owed your money back. <laughs> so please get in touch if it's ever happened because I would, I would absolutely hate that. But yeah, these things, I need to hit myself in the face with it. One of them should be my uh, one of my books from my come book swapping with me, but it's not. So we've all had a stolen parcel. 
I'm gonna go check my post box actually just in case. But we have a fire stick. I needed a fire stick. So I have one now. I'm gonna go check my post box. Okay, I take it back. It was actually in my letter box, but I don't know why I'm filming again because I'm not gonna show you this one because it will spoil my come book shopping with me video. But it is here. It is exactly what I expected it to look like. I don't know why I'm getting excited. Let's just do a really quick like, oh, it's this, okay. Yay. <laughs> As if you can't just pause it and see what book that was if you really cared. But I'm very excited. Um, need to get back to work now. I had a lovely chat with one of the neighbours about the thief who steals our Amazon parcels. So it's a great day. <laughs> Hello, it is 11 o'clock on Friday morning. And all I can say today is thank God it's Friday. Like seriously. I try not to talk about work anymore on here, but I will in this instance, I have never been so unmotivated in my life. Um, I told my manager yesterday I had nothing to do. And he's gone on holiday today. And I've got nothing to do. <laughs> so yeah, I'm trying to find learning opportunities for myself. So I'm watching webinars and starting my serial killer um, coloring book. I thought I'd quickly jump in with a reading update. Well, I obviously have the time. Um, I read horrible, not horrible histories. I read Terrible Tudors yesterday while I was on reading sprints with Emily. So this is the, I think we decided it's the 12th book in the Horrible Histories series. I love the Tudors. I think it's such an interesting time in history. So I did really enjoy reading this one. Um, and yeah, I don't rate these though, because I, I know I'm not the intended audience and I do chuckle a little bit, but you know, I'm not getting the most learning out of them. I'm not getting the most fun out of them, but I do enjoy my time. So I just don't rate them. Um, I don't feel like I can be completely accurate with that rating. I did also read my buddy read section of The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, which was about 60 pages. So I'm now on page 205. Um, really, really loving the relationships between the characters, but I do not care at all for the sci-fi elements, which I know it's going to get more sci-fi because it's a sci-fi book like that's the point i'm just not enjoying that part um but yeah the relationships between the characters are really interesting so i'm enjoying those all i need to do to finish 30 books in 30 days is to read the suitcase kid today i'm on page 29 of a 155 page book i know i'm going to be able to do it i just don't have the motivation to do it so i am going to do that first thing like the first thing I can do as soon as I have time to sit and read I will do um but yeah I think I'm gonna do it I'm really excited to start my May TBR I've got so many books I'm excited to get to so many I'm also not but like I just want to get them crossed off and yeah feeling positive for the weekend feeling positive for a three-day weekend thank god um but I've just got to get through work first Hello, so please ignore the dressing gown. Um, I just got an Amazon parcel and I know I've made quite a lot of orders on Amazon, but I wasn't expecting one today. So I thought I would open it here and maybe show you what it is, depending on, on what it is. There really shouldn't be any more from my come book shopping that I should be getting here today. So let's have a look. It is a gift. Oh, I've just seen what it is. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> It is Destination Anywhere by Sarah Bernard. This is so weird because I'm just editing my last book haul where I said the last book I've talked about in that book haul is Beautiful Broken Things by Sarah Bernard. I just read the other one, uh, Goodbye Perfect, and absolutely loved it. This is a brand, brand new release. It says, after spending her school years bullied and alone, Peyton King is determined to finally find her happiness. With nothing but her sketch pad and a backpack, she buys a one-way ticket and gets on a plane. So, oh my, who sent me this? It is who I thought it was, it's Becca. Okay, just a little something to hopefully put a smile on your face. When I saw Sarah Bernard, I wasn't gonna choose anything else and it also reminded me I need to read this one. So yeah, this is from Becca. I will link her channel obviously in the description. Thank you so much, Becca. I would really like to go and cry now. This is amazing, thank you so much. Hello, I am lay in bed trying to be less emotional than I am, but really really struggling so i picked up dry i'm 45 pages in i'm really enjoying it um but i've just decided to um my parents and my sister are going to devon in a couple of weeks for five days um monday to friday so it would mean five days off work so i said i wouldn't go because i have to save my holiday to go and see cole and 
I've booked the last two weeks or in September off because that's the end of our holiday year but it's been really really hard for me to accept that that might not even be an option I might not be able to say coal then so I was saving all my holidays so that I'd be able to use it to go to America in the summer and um I don't think it's gonna happen so I'm gonna do five days in Devon with my parents I'm just too emotional about it I should be happy I'm not happy yeah where they've had a really good buy one get one half price table oh um, yeah yeah sorry i'm just grabbing my food <laughs> in case the dog actually does stuff in it right, you stuck right first yeah i i don't tend to buy the buy one get one half price books because Hello, it's now 20 past nine and I'm on page 134 of Dry and I'm absolutely loving it. This is really good. This is everything I could have wanted this book to be. I'm so happy with it. I just forgot I had a cup of tea. Um, but you may have, I may have kept it in at the start of this vlog. Um, Bruce has been looking really poorly, bless him. He just wasn't looking great. He's not been looking great until right now. Um, his eyes weren't even both open. It was, I was getting really, really worried. But he just came out, ran around in the ball for a bit, eyes wide open. And then I never realised that hamsters could eat cucumber. I don't know why I thought they wouldn't be able to. So I gave him little pieces of cucumber and he sat in my hand eating cucumber, like looking the happiest I've seen him in a long time. I know that sounds silly, he's a hamster, but from me thinking I was going to clean his cage and he wasn't going to be we don't need to say it, to him sat in my hand eating cucumber like I'm so emotional. But yeah, I'm so happy that he's he's okay. Um, yeah, it's been an emotional week, but he looks okay, so I'm so happy. And um, I want to try and get to at least page 200 of Dry tonight. I think I'm going to keep reading until Cole gets on Discord with his friends. If he doesn't get on Discord with his friends, then I'm going to probably bother him about 11 o'clock. So yeah, I've got some reading to do. like six o'clock on Saturday and I've been out all day. My parents got here at 11 and we went shopping into town and then we've gone to see my nan and granddad in their garden which was nice but I'm very cold right now. Um, when we did go out I got a few little bits. So I got this, this is an age 14 to 15 but I'm, it's, it's stretchy um, and it says Chicago which is in airport I cannot wait to get to. So Thought I would channel some good vibes with that. And then got these baby Yoda socks <laughs> that says the cuteness is strong. Just some little Yodas. Um, oh, and then some bigger Yodas. Essentials that I've not been able to get until Primark opened. More essentials I haven't been able to get. And then £10. Okay, we're going to see if these fit. £10 for mini people jeans. 28 leg everybody so we're gonna see if these fit because if they do they're gonna be the perfect length like i cannot wait to try them but reading has gone completely out the window i've not read a single thing today obviously with it being the first of um may that means some more buddy reads have started so i need to read 50 pages of lullaby by leila slamani for my buddy read with emily so i'm gonna do that i might do that first then I need to do my daily buddy read for The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. So another 50 pages of that-ish. Let's have a look. Just over, actually. Okay, so it's going to be a chunkier day of that. I'm hoping there's some sprints. And I'd like to finish dry. So I also need to order some dinner because I'm not cooking. But yeah, let's try the jeans on first. I'm not going to update you. It's not too exciting. Try jeans on, order dinner, find sprints, read. I have no shame. Should I have shame? No. Hello, it is nearly 12 o'clock, so I kind of need to get dressed because I'm going for lunch in a minute. I've forgotten that. I got too hooked up in dry. Oh my God. I will be surprised if this doesn't make it onto my best books of 2021. Like this is so good. <laughs> so good. I do think 
there could have been more at the end. The ending could have been more wrapped up because we had step by step, like each minute of every day, pretty much up to the ending. And then there was a bit of a jump in time. But like, I get it. I get why it was done. I understand. I just feel like we could have had more and we didn't get more. But it's good. So good. Ah, so first month, first month, first book of the month done on the second. I'm fine with that. And what I'm going to do, I am going to go get dressed to get ready to go out. I need to find out if I'm getting myself to lunch or if my parents are getting me. Um, and then I'm going to read the buddy read section for the day of Lullaby. I feel like I have enough time to do that as well. So that's about 50 pages to read. Yeah, oh, it's page 101. So it is exactly 50 pages. Um, and this reads pretty quick. Emily's already read today's pages and she said she really loved it. So that's cool. Then I'm going to go out for lunch. I'm going to get home. I'm going to finish The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. I could leave this till my sprints later. I have decided to do sprints, but I want to be reading a book I really love then. I don't know if that makes sense or if it's just my head. Or should I read this so people can hold me accountable? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Either way, I feel good for already finishing a book this month. And... Um, I need to edit my wrap up at some point, actually. Maybe I'll do that when I get home. I don't know. I'm all over the place. And this is already a long vlog because I've just seen how much footage I have for it. <laughs> Hello, I'm nearly ready to go out. I feel so cute today. Like, you know, when you're just feeling yourself, like today I'm feeling myself. Anyway, I just got a book spot parcel and I cannot remember what this is gonna be. Let's just rip it open. Oh, of course. Okay. So this is Harley in the Sky by Akemi Dawn Bowman. And I didn't actually know they had this in hardback. So I am loving this. This looks absolutely amazing. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, wow. Okay. So I know nothing about this. I just know that people absolutely rave about it. It's Harley Milano has dreamed of being a trapeze artist for as long as she can remember. With parents who run a famous circus in Las Vegas, she spends almost every night in the big top watching their lead aerialist perform, wishing with her with all her soul she could be up there herself one day. After a huge fight with her parents, who continue to insist she goes to school instead, Harley leaves home, betrays her family, and joins the rival travelling circus, Maison du Mystère. 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 Don't, French is not my strong point, even though it's the only language I have multiple qualifications in. Anyway, there she is, thrust into a world that is both brutal and beautiful, where she learns the value of hard work, passion and collaboration. But at the same time, Harley must come to terms with the truth of her family and her past and reckon with the sacrifices she made and the people she hurt in order to follow her dreams. But, oh, this is like, the, even the paper is lovely. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, I feel like this is going to be a really, really cute addition to my shelves. And it's stuck in my head. Hello, so it is quarter to six. Um, I'm just sat listening to China Rich Girlfriend by Kevin Kwan, which I have on audio. So I just thought I'd listen to a little bit before my sprints and like before I get myself ready to do that. And I just got an email saying that I have an unclaimed stimulus check. I don't live in the US. I mean, I feel like clicking through and getting my $1,400, but dollars wouldn't be any, any good. <laughs> I mean, they would, but that's a bit of a mess up, that, isn't it? No one's going to fall for that. United Stimulus Check. Do you have unclaimed stimulus funds? No, no, I don't. Hello, it is Monday morning, Chloe, coming in to wrap up the vlog. Um, What even happened? <laughs> Chaos. So I did my reading sprints and I lost half of my power in my apartment. So that was fun. I was doing reading sprints in the dark. It's cool. Um, still went really well. I love having your guys' support like always. So yeah, it means so much to me. But in that time, I did finish The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. I would show you, but I've already packaged it up because somebody ordered it for me on BookSwap within about 30 seconds of it going live. So I have nothing to show you. <laughs> But I did finish it. I gave it three stars in the end. I did enjoy the idea. I enjoyed the characters and their relationships. But I just did not care for the sci-fi part. And I know it was a sci-fi book. I know I don't like sci-fi. I tried to read sci-fi. It didn't work. Let's move on. I then got a bit further into the audiobook and, and physical book for China Rich Girlfriend by Kevin Korn. I'm on page 134 as of last night. So 
going quite well. I don't know whether I'm going to carry on with this today or whether it's going to be a thing during the working week. I don't know. But yeah, started this one and I'm kind of enjoying it, but less than Crazy Rich Asians, I think. I don't know. But on that note, that's all I've really got to talk about today. And I know this is going to be a long vlog, so I don't want to keep talking. If you got to this point, please leave me. I don't really have an emoji relating to anything. What should we choose today? Should we do fruit? Let's have fruit today. I really, really feel like a strawberry and I don't have any. That was very, that was a tangent. Leave me a fruit emoji if you got this far. It really does mean a lot to me if you watch the entirety of my vlogs. Like, I just want to come and cuddle you all. It really does make me happy, put a smile on my face. So I love to see it. But apart from that, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.